Good day to you. Today I'm going to cover um, yeah, I'm going to cover installing Git on Windows 10. And the first thing we're going to do is install Git. And the second thing we're going to do is verify Git. Okay. Um, this is my link to my website if you need any technical assistance. Um, and this is uh, the link to my Patreon page if you're interested in donating towards me creating more of these videos. Alright, so first of all, we need to go to git, okay, and the link is https colon forward slash forward slash git dot dash scm dot com. Alright, um, we scroll down and we look for downloads, alright, and we're looking for a Windows, since I'm installing it on a Windows 10 computer, okay, and I have a 64-bit version of Windows, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the 64-bit Git for Windows setup. As you can see, it's starting to download. It says it shouldn't be too long. Okay, it's almost uh, finished downloading. Got a few more seconds left. You might see a message like this that says it was blocked because it could harm your device. Just click on see more, um, go over here and say keep. Definitely want to keep this. Okay. Um, then I'm going to go and I'm going to open my folder, my downloads folder. There we go. There it is. Okay. Then we just double click on it. It'll come up with, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Choose yes. Okay, then you should be prompted with a screen like this. And on the screen, we just click on next. I'm going to choose C Git so that I know that it's at the C drive of mine. Okay, click on next. Um, I'm not going to add any icons to my desktop. I'm just going to leave it with the defaults, okay, click on next, I'm happy for it to create a start menu, um, click on next, um, it asks use Vim, the ubiquitous text editor is the default one, I'm not going to choose that, I'm going to choose Visual Studio Code, um, because I'm using VS Code on mine, and so this is what I want to use. Okay, use Visual Studio Code as Git's default editor. Click on Next. Um, I will leave this as Let Git Decide. Okay, click on Next. Um, I'm going to leave this as Git from the command line and also from third party software. Okay. And I'm going to use an open SSL library. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it as default. Check out Windows style. Commit Unix style line endings. Okay. Click on next. Um, it's asking me use um, mini, min tty as a default terminal. Um, I'm going to use Windows default console, uh, the command prompt, okay? And choose the default behavior of git pull. I'm going to just leave it as the default, okay? Um, I'm going to use the git credential manager core, okay? So 
So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to enable file system caching. Okay. Um, enable experimental support for pseudocode. No, I'm not going to do that. And then choose install. So now the git will install. Okay, so there it is, completing the git setup. I don't want to view any release notes, just going to click on finish. Alright, so now I want to go and verify which uh, that git is installed. So I right click on my command prompt, opens me up here, and I can just say git minus minus version, and there we go, you can see it says git version 2.31.1 windows.1 so thank you for watching this video i hope that it's been helpful and very informative for git thank you and goodbye